Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be taking a 99 overall player, putting them through each league to see how many points they would get. And I'm gonna randomize the team for each league as well. So that way, it just has the whole randomness effect. You know, you can't say I favorited, blah, 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 all that. So on that note, we will start in the NHL. I will randomize a team and we get the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. So we got Tino Mans here. We're gonna go ahead and assign him to the Ducks. This makes it very easy. I don't even have to move. As such, I will be the Ducks. I'll be whatever team he's on make sure that he's on the first line don't think we'll have a problem with that though because he is 99 overall huh didn't know autosave was off by default that's good if we go to the edit line screen he's going to be playing with Henrik and troy terry on the first line at 99 overall got a few abilities there as well on that note Let's get the sim started. Holy, 10-7 win over the Oilers. The Ducks are first in the division right now with 46 points. This is my, I think, fifth video of the day. So my voice is certainly leaving my body. Will we be able to catch the Oilers who are currently first in our division? Maybe, might be able to but not at this pace. What a tremendous post-trade deadline. Okay, and then we collapse there for a minute, but anyway, still a pretty good run. In the NHL, Tino Mans will put up 95 points, 55 helpers, and 40 goals. He was a plus 13, a 17.1 shooting percentage, two game-winning goals, seven for Zegris, and, or sorry, no, seven for Henrik, six for Zegris. And the next closest was Strom with 63. Terry all the way down here with 59. What's going on? I would assume 95 isn't league leading, right? Nope, he finished fifth in the NHL. Thamkos, Matthews, Kucherov, and Marchand all ahead of them. How far will the Ducks make it in the playoffs though? Past the first round at least. That's a good start. Got the Oilers here in round number two. We are chasing them all year and they make light work of us. And then they go on to win the cup. What a run from Edmonton. Next up will be the AHL. We get the Texas Stars. Had to scroll a little bit for this one. Doesn't matter though. Let's get the season mode loaded up. It's actually pretty crazy that I'm saying this, but I was just thinking about having to clear out the franchise and season mode save files again. I don't think I'm gonna have to do that because I specifically recorded a lot today to take a break before NHL 23. So this could be my last NHL 22 video that I record. Dino Mans will be playing with Anthony Lewis and Riley Damani? Damiani? Something like that. I tried. 274 overall players. Let's see how it goes. He should be able to carry them to the Calder Cup, right? You would think? Oh my word. It was a shaky start, but definitely picked it up. The Stars are currently leading the division. I don't know if we are leading the league, however. The goals are right there. The season is complete. We had 44 wins. Let's find out how many points our boy had. Wait, wrong one, right? Yep. We finished first in the Central Division. 72 games played. And a total of 90... Wait, hold on. Oh, it goes by the... What's it called? It's not by the actual points because different teams play a different amount of games. I think it goes by point percentage. So we finished third in the league. The Gulls only played 68 games. Dino put up 82 points in 72 games, 44 goals, and 38 assists. He had an 18.4 shooting percentage. Five game-winning goals, but Demiani... I still, I don't know. Why do I struggle so much? Riley, your name's Riley. You got seven. If we get swept in the first round, it's gonna be so sad. All right, we did not get swept. In fact, I think we did the sweeping. Let's continue. Rockford Ice Hogs. No way, that's embarrassing. The Toronto Marlies win the Calder Cup. I wish. I was actually there when they did win it against the Texas Stars. That was a fun time. Eight points in eight playoff games. That's not a great performance from you, Tino. Next up is the ECHL. We will randomize and get the Cincinnati Cyclones. That's a pretty cool logo, not gonna lie. I don't know why I would lie about that, but yeah. Anyway, that's my opinion. Good logo. I went and completely started up the season mode only to remember that I did not assign Tino. Unfortunate, really. Every league plays a different amount of games as well, so it's gonna be sort of, you know, based on point per game kind of ratio, you know? Louis and Yushiro will be playing with Tino on the first line. Let's see how it goes. It seems like the ECHL actually plays a pretty decent amount of games, more than I thought. I sort of thought that a 99 overall player would have more impact than they are having, if I'm gonna be honest. Again, not really sure why I'd lie about that. It's almost just like a habit to say, to be honest. I don't know why, but I'm gonna try to snap it. The Cincinnati Cyclones in the Central Division finished first. 72 games played, 97 points. The Reading Royals would beat us out for the, I guess, whatever the equivalent is to the President's Trophy. We came second. Oh, here we go. 130 points in 72 games played, 69 goals, 61 assists. Now that is a season. 22.5 shooting percentage. Pretty solid. How will playoffs go? That is the ultimate question. No way. We almost got reverse swept there. The Comets giving us a run for our money and we get deleted. And the Comets go on to win the playoffs. I don't know what the trophy is called. 
but there's definitely a name for it. The Patrick J. Kelly Cup. Apparently. Our 99 overall player put up 17 points in 13 playoff games. Not as impressive as the season. It's time for the SHL randomize the team and we get them. The team with Pontus Aberg. Aberg. I don't know why I suck at this. But they also have Ty Ratty, which means that's probably going to be his wingers. This is going to be a interesting one. The teams are pretty even in overall. Actually, they are all 73, except for these guys and these guys. Yep, as predicted, Tino will be playing with Pontus and Ty. It's going to be a good first line. We've got some abilities there too. This one felt like it had less games, but still quite a bit. How are we doing bad? Four losses in a row, five losses in a row. No way. We may not even make the playoffs. That is crazy. I expected way more. He only put up 62 points in 52 games. I thought if he had these two guys that have abilities, they would be all right, but apparently not. 18.6 shooting percentage. He also had 60 pims? What, you have 99 discipline. What's up with that? What team will we get from Liga? It will be them. <laughs> I'm genuinely still shocked about the last one. I did not think there would be an instance where him being on a team, they don't make the playoffs. And we've just seen it. All right, Tino will be playing with Otto and Ollie. Without further ado, let's see how this one goes. Kind of struggling here as well. This is shocking. Am I just landing on teams that aren't good? I mean, I was kind of thinking, I don't know if I said it. I don't remember if I did or not. But anyway, the last team we played for... They were 73 overall, but that was with a 99 overall player on the team. So I was thinking they probably are not normally 73 overall. Okay, they redeemed. Looks like we finished first in the league. Let's stop the simulation. Hello? Oh, maybe we did make the playoffs in the last one. Or no? Did we not make it here either? Did I screw it in the last one? But they didn't even have a winning record. There's no way. Did they? Well, this time we finished first in the league, 118 points through 60 games, 65.6 point percentage. We were 10% up on the next squad. Tino had 82 points in those 60 games, 36 goals, 46 helpers, and he was a plus 42, 64 pims again. I don't get what's going on here, but he had a 22.1 shooting percentage. Will we finally win some sort of championship? No, we get rinsed in round one. And those lads are the champions. Time to head over to Germany, the Dell we get. The Panther. This video feels so repetitive for me, and I guess it kind of is. I'm doing the same thing over and over again, but just switching the league up. Again, the overalls in this league, very similar. Tino will once again have a player with abilities on his line, but that didn't go so well last time, so let's see how it goes this time around. Matt Pumple will be playing with Tino and Spencer. Let's get it started, shall we? Started off 0-2, but we are pulling it back here a little bit. No, we're not. We are just not good. What is up with this game? 2019-3-2. What an odd record. Season complete. Complete. The preliminary round matchups have been determined. Okay, so stop simulation. Did we finish higher than that or are we just not in? I'm not going to do this again just in case, but okay, we are in. I feel like we had a decent record this time. I mean, not really. 24, 22, 7, and 3. And Tino put up 78 points, so we finished in sixth in the league. Actually, that's not bad. 56 games played, 39 goals, 39 assists, a plus 24, a nice amount of penalty minutes, and just shy of 20 for the shooting percentage. We made it past round one. That is already a mission success. Will we make it past round two? Yes. Let's go. We're in round three. Maybe this is the finals. I have no idea. It was. We finally won something. Fire me up. Point a game in the playoffs. 19 points in 19 games. Exit, extra league of time, randomize, and we get that team. You know the drill, season mode. Go ahead and tell Jabroni not to edit my lines, but then I will use the preferred lines. So we got Milan and Michael playing with Tino. How will this one go? Let's find out. Honestly, not great. Our team is struggling. This is really fascinating. I thought a 99 overall player would have a huge impact on the team, but we're not really doing well. Oops, I think I started simulating the playoffs by accident, but we made it past round one, so that is a success. So in the league, we finished seventh. We had a record of 23, 23, and five. Oh my goodness, I feel like we did make it in that other league. Well, maybe not, because we had a pretty bad record. It's hard to say. Anyway, I'm just gonna let it slip. 84 points. And we had a 50 point percentage, exactly. Tino had 73 points in 56 games played, 30 goals, 43 helpers, and a plus 23. For some reason, oh my word, I thought he had 200 pims. I was about to freak out, but no, 43 pims, 200 shots, and a 15 shooting percentage. How will playoffs go? So far, not bad. We made it past another round. Here we go. Yes. Oh, this could be the finals. I think this is the finals. And we sweep them. Easy. Light work. 24 points in 20 playoff games for yours truly. 
Not a bad performance. The National League, 13 teams. Let's randomize. We get SC Burn where Sven Berchi's playing. It's starting to seem like that 130 point season was just kind of an anomaly. Uh oh, only 68 overall, and some of these other teams are not bad. Tino Mans to the rescue? Maybe? Probably not? Okay, we've got Berchi and Dominic Cahoon. Not bad. Corey Conisher, I remember him too. Same with Cody, I feel like he was like three and a half green star potential in one of the old NHL games. He always turned out to be all right, I think. All right, Tino's about to take the National League by storm. Or maybe not. Let's find out. Not off to a bad start. In fact, I would say pretty good considering our overall compared to the other teams. We got a big break here, but we are currently first. So that is hype. Stop the simulation. Let's check out the stats. We got Matthew's old team in round number one. Oh my goodness. We probably did make the playoffs because they went 21, 26, 3 and 2. Oh, now I feel bad. Truthfully, it doesn't matter that much anyway because I'm more so just focused on the season and in the season. 52 games played, 108 points. 69.2 point percentage. Very solid. In 52 games, Tino had 41 goals, 37 helpers for a total of 78 points. He was a plus 41, 44 pims and 20. 22.9 shooting percentage, nine game winning goals as well. Playoff time. We've won one championship so far, I believe. Let's see if we can make it two here. Oh my, I thought we were done. We make it past round number two into round number three. That was, oh, that was it. All right, another championship under our belt. Not a big deal. 21 points in 17 playoff games. Solid. The Ontario Hockey League, we will randomize and land on the Sarnia Sting. Okay, apparently I gotta make him younger before I can assign him to the <laughs> CHL leagues. There we go, it worked that time. Team's quite even in overall. Yeah, I feel like this league, compared to most, he sticks out at 99 overall. I mean, 70s, it still sticks out, but not as much as this. Nikita and Brayden will be Tino's teammates. Let's see how it goes. Definitely not dominating the league by any standard, but we are doing all right. Second in the division at the moment. Oh my word, was that a five game losing streak? How does that even happen? Whatever, we still qualified. Sarnia finished second in the West division with 79 points, 38 wins on the year. If we go to the entire league, I could have easily just done that. I don't know why I didn't. We finished sixth. Kingston had 98 points, holy. Tino Mans had 52 goals, 46 assists for a total of 98 points. He was a plus 35, a nice amount of penalty minutes and a 21.2 shooting percentage. I wanna check out the entire league because, all right. So Liam Kirk on the Peets put up 81. Shane Wright put up 74. He is an 80 overall. Very interesting. Flint giving us a run here in round one. That's a thing. That just happened. That actually just happened. The Sioux Greyhounds winning the playoffs here for the OHL. Let's back out and see. Yeah, not a great performance. Four points in five playoff games. The Q, we get the Halifax Mooseheads. I'm trying to remember who was on that team. I feel like it was like Nate McKinnon and Jonathan Drouin or something. Oh, they've had a bunch of players. They had Alex Tangay as well at one point, Voracek. J.S. Jaguar. At 56 overall, we are in the upper echelon of the league. So that's nice. Elliot and Zachary. Gonna be playing with Tino. 99 overall. How will he do in the QMJHL? Off to a very good start here. Wow, I feel like this is easily the most dominant season we've had. Maybe we were just getting unlucky and the randomizer was giving us bad teams. Through 68 games, we got 103 points, a 75.7 point percentage. Obviously, we led the Maritimes and we probably led the league. Yes, we did. By quite a bit. Gatineau was actually kind of close. 90's not crazy far behind. Oh my word. 136 points, 77 goals, and 59 assists through 68 games. Plus 75, 76 penalty minutes, and a 25.4 shooting percentage. That is lunacy. The first round of the playoffs will be ours. And now we've got Crosby's former team here. We will defeat them. Now we are in round number three and we get deleted. That's unfortunate. And the Islanders go on to win the cup, the trophy, whatever you want to call it. Good performance by Tino though. 25 points in 19 games. WHL time. We are down to the final three leagues and we land on the Kelowna Rockets. 55 overall. So we're there, but we aren't in the 56 range that some of these teams are. Colton Dock. He's got to be related to Kirby. There's no way he's not. And Pavel Novak will be playing with Tino for his run in the WHL. Let's go. Will we get a repeat of the QMJHL where it is sheer dominance? 138 points, I think it was. That's a lot. It is, however, worth noting that Sidney Crosby got 168 points. 
in 62 games with the Ramuski Oceanic. Can you imagine that? 102 assists. Pretty successful year. We finished in second for the BC division, 84 points. And we had 40 Ws on the year. Entire league, we finished fifth. 62 goals and 52 assists for a total of 114 points. He almost had the same amount of goals as games played. I feel like in the last one, he actually probably had more goals than games played. More than one goal a game. He was a plus 48, 255 shots, and a 24.3 shooting percentage. 11 game-winning goals on top of it. It's that time again. Playoffs, how will Kelowna do? A sweep in round one, so that's solid. We got the Giants coming up next here. Another sweep. Fire me up. The Americans? Oh yeah? Let's go? Oil Kings are our final opponent, and we... Oh wait, hold on. No? Why do I see more games down there? Anyway, the Kelowna Rockets take a dub. Oh, the Memorial Cup? Did I miss that in one of the other ones? Am I actually being brutal right now? Anyway, let's do it. That is three dubs. Don't mind if I do. Let's continue simming here. Kingston, how will we do? We take an L. Splendid. 21 points in 20 playoff games. Not nearly as impressive as the 114 for the season, but still pretty good. Actually, now that I think about it, for the QMJHL, there was definitely something. I was confused because it said that the season wasn't over, but the playoffs were done, and it didn't give me the option to exit. So if I would have simmed a few more days, oh my word, this video is shambles. What better way to go out from NHL 22, am I right? Hockey all Svenskan. Was I close? Probably not. Who will random deliver us to this time? There you go. 61 overall, okay, not bad. So now the great mystery is how many things have I missed during this and just not known about. The Memorial Cup was news to me, I'll tell you that. I knew it was a thing, but I thought that they just didn't really include it because it was the specific league season and they just did their playoffs. But no, apparently the Memorial Cup is still a thing in season mode. Bjorklund and Tavi will be the line mates this time around. Let's have a season. Okay, we're kind of dominating in this one, which is good to see. Wonder how many points we're gonna get. It's not even like we were dramatically in first or anything, but we still did quite well. We did lead the league 104 points. 99 was right there and same with 98. So we actually didn't completely dominate. 55 goals, so more than one goal a game and 46 assists for a total of 101 points, a plus 54 and a 26.6 shooting percentage, 15 game winning goals. Playoff time, we don't sweep them. Pretty close though, they got one game out of us. Round number two is gonna be, oh my, we just snuck by, that was a close call and now we're getting rinsed. There you go. 16 points in 18 playoff games. Now that is disappointing. One league to go for the final time. Let's randomize. We get the, they kind of look like, you know, the Kit Kat logo. It looks similar to that, but we get them. Also, Ice Hockey League. What a great league name. That's not even sarcasm either. I actually like it. 64 overall. So we are somewhere in the middle, it seems, because we got 65, 66, and even 67s, but we also have 59. Yeah. We're in the middle. Peterson and Fraser will be Tino's line mates for the final league here. The Ice Hockey League. Let's see how our 99 overall player does here. Oh yeah? Off to a great start here. It's very interesting how in some of them, the 99 overall player helps a lot. And in others, it's almost like they're not even noticeable. There is absolutely no way this team would be doing this good without having that 99 overall player. No shot. Choose your playoff opponent. Now that is cool. Wow. I'm going to take the Red Bull guys. Get the tough team out of the way. I really like that, but at the same time, imagine you pick a team and then you lose to them. How bad would you feel? We finished first place in the league by quite a margin here. 77.6 win percentage, 34 Ws, and 121 points. More than a goal a game again, getting 57 and 37 helpers for a total of 94 points and a 22.3 shooting percentage, 13 game winning goals. Playoff time. Can we beat them? Don't you dare. Never mind, we did get them. Round number two is gonna be an interesting one. We just barely got past them. And now we are in what I think is the finals and we take an L. They did put on a clinic, to be honest. Holy, 29 points in 19 games. That's one of the better playoff performances we have seen. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support you've given me throughout NHL 22. It's been amazing. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you guys on NHL 23. I think this is gonna be the last time I close this game. Pretty wild. And then we'll come back to it in a few years if I'm still even doing YouTube by then and do a quote-unquote sort of retro NHL draft not retro but you know just like at the time it will be 
kind of old school, like I did with NHL 18 this year. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And on that note, I'll see you soon.